It still amazes me. I still pull shut my imaginary glasses. I still do it. I used to wear glasses for a long time and I still push up my glasses. <sighs> so internet this is sunny again coming at you with another video and today we are going to talk about the new nike hijab yeah it's a real thing if you don't know about it i will link it below and i want to talk about it today because i i understand that there are some muslim women who want to Wear the, hijab, wear the hijab based on their religious beliefs and they want to not wear heavy fabric, they don't want to you know feel weighted down or anything like that which I understand totally. Um, now is there really a market for this? Is there a lot of Muslim women athletes? Not to my knowledge. I mean yes there are some but I don't really know if there is like a really big market for this like as if it were tennis shoes or you know sports bras you know things that are you know necessary um, which again if you're a Muslim and, and you're a woman and you want to buy this Nike hijab by all means go for it the only reason why I'm talking about it today is because there are some social justice warriors and some feminists who feel that the hijab is uh, a, a, a symbol of empowerment for for women. I'm gonna have to disagree with that. So the reason that I disagree with it is because I mean if you read in the Quran it says that uh, the woman should cover herself and then there's two instances where it's basically telling the woman to you know guard her privates and then the man to, to guard her their privates. But for the woman, it says to cover your bosom and, you know, cover yourself. And it's like basically um, telling them to wear, you know, a long piece of clothing that's loose fitting and flowy and then cover your head. It's basically like a dress code for, for women only. And they're not free to dress how they want. I mean, you can dress modestly and still be, you know, not sexually provocative, you know, boobs all out and, you know, short skirts or anything. You can still do that and still look decent, in my opinion anyway. For Muslim women, it's, um, the, the reference that I went off of, I'll link it down below, um, it's saying that for the dress code for a woman to cover her, to cover her head and still have on jeans and just like a regular t-shirt that's still against dress code. So if we're going to look at the Quran, we might as well look at the Bible too. The Bible in Timothy, it says for women to dress modestly. It doesn't really say to cover yourself or to, um, you know, wear the whole, you know, garment of, you know, Muslim women. So, and if you read the whole thing in Timothy, I'll link that also below. It goes in depth on what the um, what the whole context of that chapter of the Bible is talking about because there's some cultural things going on. There's some um, you know things that are taken out of context all the time. And for you to understand the Quran and understand the Bible, you really do have to read the context and study it. You just can't take it for face value. Also. Um, you don't want to misconstrue the verse and you know misinterpret it so I encourage you to to read it and I'll again I'll link it down below but you know from my understanding and my interpretation of what I studied whenever I was researching this um, I still believe that the hijab is a symbol of oppression and for social justice warriors and feminists to call it empowering I think is is doing a disservice to women who don't want to be held back and don't want to cover themselves up and you know that want to be free from a true 
patriarchal you know culture society in Muslim countries men rule women women can't go out they can't go shopping they can't do this and they can't do that they're in uh, forced marriages at a very young age and they're basically they're basically commodities to be traded around uh, in most Muslim countries and I'm not saying all of them are but there is a strong culture and you know it's treated as the norm for women to be married young and all this other stuff and I say that all to say this I don't think Nike is doing the right thing by making this hijab. I understand that there is a small, small market for it, but make those special order and don't like, you know, tell the world, oh, we're making Nike hijabs. Look how progressive we are and look how cool we are. We are down with the Muslim fight or whatever the case may be. I don't know. This virtue signaling, signaling from everyone on the left is quite tiresome. And it's getting really old. Uh, you can special order things. I mean, if you want to make it exclusive online and stuff like that, I mean, that's totally fine. I mean, Nike has their prerogative. It's a free market. They can do what they want, honestly. But this is just a big virtue signal for Nike to, for, you know, the, the super rich who are ultra progressive to buy more of their products because, you know, they're good people. That's basically all it is. They they saw that they're competing against, I don't know, who's a competitor? I don't know, Adidas? Under Armour? I have no idea. And they wanted to see what they can do to spike up sales and this is what they did. That's all it is. It's 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 totally fine. But to sit here and pretend that the hijab, I understand that there are some Muslim women that wear it on their own free will. But you are born into a culture to where every woman wears it, so you do it too. If you were in America, you would be influenced by, you know, cute hairstyles and things like that, and you would want to wear your hair out. That's just my opinion. So, what are your thoughts on this whole matter? Do you think Nike made a good decision by selling the Nike hijab for Muslim women or anyone who is, you know, practices the Muslim faith and Islam? Or do you think this is a big old virtue signal that really doesn't, uh, that, and Nike doesn't have a market for this type of thing? Just let me know your comments down below. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it. My oven is ready. <laughs> like and subscribe, all of that jazz. And have a great day. I hope you go do the same. Wait, I will go do the same. Have a great day. I will go do the same.